Good morning everyone, so finally it's snowing in Saxony since three years I didn't see any snow here last time was in February or in March in 2018 that means something like three years I didn't photograph any I haven't photographed since three years any snow today I'm I'm, I'm really so excited I, I, I did read actually in the weather forecast that it will be it will be snowing today but I didn't believe that because that happens a lot and without any snow but today <laughs> the weather forecast was true or is true and now it's snowing I, I'm really so excited I don't know where to go I don't know what to photograph you know I have I have everything I need I have the 50 millimeter lens I have the uh, 10 20 millimeter lens and the 70 300 millimeter lens i have everything i may need because i don't know what to take photos of there's no specific expectations in my mind I, i'm just really so excited i don't know what to say uh, i'm really so happy today there were just people looking at me they don't know what i'm <laughs> making here so i will just try to find anything here to find any nice composition the problem is that if i didn't like any photo today maybe i will not be able to make any snow photos until three years like happened 20, uh, in 2018 so i will try my best to make good photos So the main reason of choosing this area is that I don't think I will find any footprints on the ground, you know, because it's like small woodland area and I don't think in the snow or during the snow there, there are people will come here with their dogs or something like that. So that's why the snow is clean and there's no footprints. That's why I have to be careful because I don't want to you know put my legs or put my feet prints on any area that I will decide later that I will yeah take a photo and find a, a, and find a good composition because otherwise I will have to do a lot of works in Photoshop to remove my own feet prints So the photo that I am trying right now, uh, I don't need any tripod actually because my shutter speed is one five hundred of the second, you know. In the snow there's a lot of light coming in the sensor. But at the same time I'm using f2.8 because I like to have, you know, background a little bit out of focus and a little bit soft photo in the snow. I will just be focusing on the trees and it's like you know it's like a tree here two trees here and a tree a little bit wide away in the middle making like a small path and as I said my shutter speed one 500 of the second f2.8 ISO obviously 100 it's really so hard to take photos in the snow I was hoping that it will stop and but it's getting heavy and I have always to try to make the camera like that I don't want any snow to touch the glass of the lens my hair is also wet oh but I'm really so happy and so excited I don't have any problem even if I will get sick after that I don't care this is my dream since as I said this is my dream since three years to have snow here in this area so uh, I think I will take the photo uh, vertical panorama something like five or four photos i will stick them together in photoshop and i will show you the, the last photo and i will write everything all the information 
that I did for all the setting that I used or everything that I did I will show you So here is the photo as you can see I'm just trying to use this punch of branch as yeah you, you know to frame the photo and on the other side I have also this tree here. I know this is not the proper way of using you know ultra wide angle lens because there is no specific foreground but I just I feel I like the whole scene the branch here which are full with the snow and the ground here. So I will try to take it. As you can see I came back to my bike I will try I want to try to go out of this small woodland area because I feel myself I am between the trees and I don't have free space to search for compositions so here is what I was talking about something like that I will not take a photo of this tree or this tree here they are beautiful but the problem is that I don't like the background I don't want the background to be like that i want it to be totally clear for example white background and there's no distortions at all that's why i am thinking about going there as you can see there's a lot of small trees right here if i am not pointing wrong right here and i will cross all this way to go a little bit i will not go so close to the trees because obviously i will use my 7300 millimeter lens but i will try to be a little bit closer than where i am standing right here take off my cap because the snow it's still falling until now and I'm really so I didn't I didn't expect like that it was they 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 wrote only between five and six centimeters but I think it's more like 10 centimeters more than it's more than between 10 and 15 centimeters so here are all the photos that I did today and I think if the snow will fall like that the whole day and in the night or at the night tomorrow will be will be so so deep wet <laughs> if i want to go out i really want to stay out but the the situation is getting so hard and i don't want to to be sick my whole cloth is so wet i i didn't prepare for a, a weather like that uh, i don't have uh, anything to, to cover my, my camera, I'm covering it with my cap and my gloves are wet, all of me is wet so I don't want to have a very bad situation at the beginning of the year and I don't want to be sick so I will end the video right here if it will be snowing during the night and if I can go uh, out tomorrow I will go out again but I will not, obviously I will not come to the same location I will try to search for other old locations that I know but I didn't ever went there during the snow so as I said I will end the video right here I hope you like it I hope you like the photos I hope I will like them so thank you very much for watching please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye
Hello everyone, so I'm out again today, but as you can see something like 90% from the snow melt away and I'm not out actually for snow photos because I did know that because the whole night the snow wasn't falling down and there's no, you know, there's no snow anymore. But uh, the reason that I went out is that uh, the weather forecast was ex expecting that there's something like foggy or drizzle raining or drizzle snow and it's starting uh, already if you can see the far away trees starting to disappear because of the fog so that's why I'm out today I was searching for any place to be far away from the cars because I was trying on the highway but it's so hard to stop there because um, obviously I'm not allowed to just park my bike and to yeah you know I will make a lot of problems so that's why I was searching for any place which is far away from the cars as I said but at the same time I was searching for trees because I still want to make a photo with my 70 300 millimeter lens I was just walking through this way here and I found that place it's really it's so moody and dark and I feel it's like scary because you can't see the end you know you can't see the end of the street or the end of this small bath with foggy and dark mood it's really I so nice I will try to compose it with uh, those trees on the left side I will try to make them like the small or the left side of the photo I will try to fill it with this with these trees on the left side and the center of the tree will be those wide away trees which are faded in the fog I, I like scenes like that if you know me you know that I like scenes like that a lot moody scary dark mood <laughs> or mood 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 so anyway I will try to take it As you have just seen, I was trying to focus with my hand manually because the camera couldn't focus correctly because it's, yeah, there's a lot of less contrast and foggy, you know, the camera couldn't focus exactly on the tree. The photo was a little bit soft and yeah, with my hand, as I can see from the back screen of the camera with my focusing with my hand was, the tree was a lot sharper than the autofocus. My biggest mistake today is that I didn't bring my lens hood with me. You know, the one for the 7300mm lens is so big and long and will block any drizzle or any rain. Because the drizzle started to be strong now and it's a little bit snowing and raining together. I saw this group of trees I will show you right now. They are so beautiful. I think I didn't take a photo like this before. The shape of the trees together with the fog and with the, you know, the, the whole scene, it, it looks like in Africa or something like that. I, I really like the shape of the group of these trees. So, so I will show, so I will show you the trees right now. But it was really so hard to take photos because, as I said, because of the drizzle, drizzle and the snow, I, I have always to. You know to clean the glass of my lens and after that refocus again and take the photo yeah <laughs> as fast as I can so I will put my gloves again it's getting so cold I think something between minus five and minus six or minus six something like that and started to snow again so these were the group of the trees that I just took a photo of I will go back home and I will try to warm my fingers because I don't feel anything 
So thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.